three years undergoing, undergoing the discipline of an elite Japanese karate school, as Belinda Byrne reports. Judd Reed lives and breathes karate. Hit to the head. What started out for the young 17-year-old as a part-time hobby four years ago has turned into an obsession. That obsession has given him a chance of a lifetime, becoming the first Australian to be accepted into the world's most prestigious karate school in Japan, the Hombu Dojo. Oh, I can't wait until next three years in Japan. It's my one goal in life and hopefully it will become fulfilled, yeah. of only 10 students each year are accepted with only a very small number coming from outside Japan. It was Judd's dedication and enthusiasm that impressed teacher Eddie Emmon who recommended him to the master of the school. Eddie believes Kyokushin karate is much more than a philosophy, it's a way of life. You find a lot of adults which become very aggressive, they become very uh, too proud, they've got little chips on their shoulders and they forget the humility and the discipline that sort of you learn, you know, when you're childhood, you see. So uh, that's what karate is all about, you see. We teach, uh, we bring that philosophy, that ideals back to them. The live-in school runs seven days a week, with the students expected to adhere to a strict code of discipline. Eddie says the masters look for humility, discipline and spirit in the students. He's not allowed to go out once he's accepted in there. He's not allowed to go out to the movie. He's not allowed to mix up with the girls. He's not allowed, uh, allowed to communicate with the outside world for three years. He's going to be practically humiliated to the nothing, to the point zero. And then from then on he comes back accepting life as it is, as disciplinary obedience to respect people. Judd's mother, Kerry Reed, realises she probably won't see her son for at least two years, but says this is a dream come true for him. Judd, everyone in their life has a dream, and Judd's just going to be lucky enough to fulfil his dream. And um, we just all stand behind him and hope he gets there. All this could be shattered if Judd cannot raise the $15,000 to pay for his three years at the karate school. He currently works at a part-time job however admits he's a long way from his goal. And what if he can't raise the money? Well, I'll keep trying. I will never give up. I'll keep trying until one day I will be able to go to Japan. That will make me more stronger and also will make me never quit. Yes, I'll never quit. It's here! 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 